In this session, I'll be going to discuss few important terms, which is what we are using it in signal flow graph. So this session is all about some basic understanding regarding what is there with signal flow graph. So let us begin this session with first point. As I think everybody might have seen, this is how we are connecting link in signal flow graph. So what is the meaning of all those things which is there in this? So if I say I'm connecting just a one link from here to here, then this two are node. This is what X1 node and this is X2 node. If I say this is only single link which is there in this signal flow graph, then this X1 node that will be source node or input node for this link. And X2 node that is what output node of this link or sync node. And by this arrow gain of this path that has been justified. So gain of path that is justified by A over here. So it means this link is having gain A, X1 is input node, X2 is output node. And this arrow indicates flow of direction of signal. So direction of signal which is flowing from X1 node to X2 node that is in this direction, which is what one can easily see. Now let us discuss few more basic points. Feedback path or feedback loop. So here if I say this is my input and this is my output then I can say input is traveling from this node and now it is flowing through this direction and here from this node signal is coming back in this direction then this path this is what feedback path one can see this is what feedback path for this link and this is what making a loop right so this is how it is making a loop so this is even called as a feedback path and even it is referred as a feedback loop one can see here a node that is having self loop means signal is generated from this node is again enclosed to this node by this path having gain C1. So this is self loop. So that is how one can see, see this is what self loop where signal is again enclosed to itself and feedback path or feedback loop that is what signal is getting enclosed in a loop. So this is even a loop but this is self loop. This is what feedback loop which is what one can easily see. Now, what is the meaning of forward path? First of all, and what is the meaning of path? So path means this is a path of branch and that is what always there with every link. So this is a link which is having this path. This is the second link which is having this path. This is what third link which is having this path. But what is the meaning of forward path? Path is there with every link. But meaning of forward path is like if I say this is input and this is output then one can clearly see this is one forward path this is one forward path and if I say this is forward path F1 then forward path F1 is having gain A into B into C so forward path gain F1 that is A into B into C and one more second path that one can see that is this so signal goes from here and this is second forward path so second forward path if I say that is F2 then its gain is A into D so this is what the meaning which is there with forward path forward path means a path by which signal goes from input to output and path is there with every link like this path that is having gain A this path is having gain B this path is having gain C so that is how path is there and forward path is connecting signal from input to output there could be multiple forward path with any system now let us try to understand what is the meaning of chain node now see here I am connecting input at node x1 and output at node x2 and there is what one more another node which is what x2 and if I say this is what having gain a in between x1 to x2 and gain b in between x2 to x x2 to x3 so ultimately here 
x2 node that is what chain node this is chain node why it is chain node the reason is this node is not connected with anything so it is even if that node is not drawn one can easily have this system by having gain from x1 to x3 by ab so x2 is not connected and even it is not affecting so ultimately here this uh, node is not going to affect to this entire system it is just giving that basic calculation as per signal flows from x1 to x3 and this node is not connected so ultimately this node is chain node there could be multiple chain nodes and even if you don't draw that node just multiply gain of different links and by that even one can easily calculate uh, this resultant path let us try to understand this first if i say i want to draw equivalent of this then this will be x1 this will be x3 and by single link and where gain will be multiplication of this to that will be ab one can see here if input is given and here output is given then this chain node that is what resulted into simple signal flow like this so this type of node those called those are called as a chain node now let us try to understand touching path and non touching path so first of all let us see what is touching path now if i say i am considering this path first of all signal goes from here now that is going like this and it is reaching over here now so many loops are there in between here i'll show loops are there this is one loop the second loop this is third loop so that is how loops are there so one can say this path is touching to almost all loops which is there with this signal flow graph so this path this path is a touching path the reason is it is touching to almost every loop now let us consider another path and how it is non touching let us try to understand this so if i say this is the path which is what from here to here and then one can see even this path is possible for input to output so this is my another path now one can clearly see this loop is not touching to this path so one can say this loop is non touching to this path is non touching to this loop so that is how we need to consider non touching path so this path is touching to this and this but it is non touching to this and this will be useful in signal flow graph by using mesens gain formula we will be using that that's why i'm explaining this so what is the meaning of touching path touching path means path touches to every loop and non touching path is a path which is not touching to loops which is there in this given signal flow graph now let us move on to some more basics non touching loops so what is the meaning of non touching loops so if i say i am having one loop over here and this is what my second loop actually there are one more loop this is third loop but i can say this loop and this loop are not touching to each other so i'm just drawing it right now to non touching loops so no nodes of this loop are touching to each other it means this two are non touching loop now i'll give one more example in this if i say this is a loop and even this is a loop one can see this is one loop and this is one loop so this two loop are even two non touching loops so that is how one can define how many loops are not touching to each other so these two are non touching loops you can say this is touching loop but i'm just right now talking about non touching loop so ultimately 
one should know like what is the meaning of non touching loop non touching loop means nodes of those loops are not touching to each other nodes of that loop are not touching to each other like see this is this two are node which is there with this loop and this two are node which is there with this loop so if i say this two nodes are not touching to this two nodes in that case this two loops are not touching to each other now what is the meaning of loop gain so here one can clearly see this is what loop forward gain of this link is b and reverse feedback gain of this is p so if i say this is loop then gain of this loop is b into p so this is what loop gain which is there with this and last which is what i am going to explain is dummy nodes now if if i say this is what system which is what i am having where nodes are x1 x2 x3 so here this is what x1 is x2 and this is x3 and uh, magnitude of forward link as well as reverse uh, feedback link that is what one can see so what is the dummy node over here so here i am adding dummy nodes these two are dummy node so for that i need to multiply gain one over here so transfer function of this two system is same but these two nodes are added by a dummy node so this is what dummy node so that is how we are connecting dummy node by adding magnitude 1 to that given link so so many times people might be observing this type of nodes are there which is what given with a magnitude 1 connected to the given system so that is what dummy node which is what they are adding so these are dummy nodes so this many uh, terms are there with signal flow graph again let us have a quick review input or source node output or sink node path gain feedback path forward path chain node which is what extra node not connected to anything in between touching path means path which is getting touch and non touching means path is not touching to loop two non touching loops it may be having three non touching loops but two non touching to example is been given here loop gain that is what a gain multiplied with all links which is there in loop dummy node which is what we are adding extra node and which is what i have explained by one example over here so these many terms are there in signal flow graph thank you so much for watching this video